welcome to my channel in this video we will be seeing how to monitor temperature and humidity sensor with SAWG917 and display the alerts of temperature and humidity on the memory LCD so without any further delay let's move on to opening simplicity studio so once you open simplicity studio uh, if you have not uh, visited my previous video which is part 4 of this series please do op uh, check it check out that video in uh, in that video we have discussed how to interface bh1750 with siwg917 by displaying alerts on the memory lcd so you can follow the same procedure but in that video we have changed few things that is the address and data now uh, we shouldn't change it so let me show you uh, how do we do that so first refer to that video and uh, do the same things what I have said but don't change the address and data so so you will just create the SA70XX project and then uh, copy the software components and simply copy the example uh, mlcd init.c code into the SA70XX.c so you will get something like this with all the defines and all the memory LCD program so in the previous video we have defined few thresholds flag low flag high now we will define thresholds like uh, in uh, temperature low and temperature high so we'll make it temp low and we'll make it as temp high so i'll make the lowest temperature to be 23 and highest temperature let me make it as 27 so yeah and uh, again i have flags so flag low flag high these are common if it is low i'll write uh, too cold uh, sorry too cold if it is high i'll write too hot one two three yeah so this will suffice and otherwise else i'll write normal now we have to take care of enabling the flags so you will go back to the function this is the same project that i am reusing that i have used in the uh, previous part 4 series so instead of th underscore high you will write the flag name which is so i have just uh, replaced uh, the debug out message because in the previous project we have removed the debug out message for temperature i have uh, rewritten it and I have enabled the flags if the temperature is higher than uh, sorry instead of humidity I have to have temperature here temperature so same thing here also so yeah I have set the thresholds and based on the thresholds I am enabling the flags I am monitoring the flags inside the memory LCD similar to the part 4 of this series if it is flag high is there I am printing what are the s high string s low string and s string and uh, i am calling the memory lcd so that the code will be working once you have done everything the only thing left is you have to save this and right click and build project to see if there are any errors so you can see there are no errors and no warnings so this is how you read the temperature value from onboard temperature sensor SI7021 and display the alerts on memory LCD. Uh, I know I haven't uh, dig, dug more deeper because I have explained everything more deeply in the part 4 of this series. Please do check it out. So if you find this video informative, please do like and share it with your friends and if you have any doubts, please don't hesitate to comment. Subscribe for more such uh, videos to TikToks. Thank you.